Hey guys, welcome to Touch and Fetch. In this video, I am going to talk about Ethernet and LAN cables. So with no further delays, let's get started. There is a range of LAN cables which are starting from CAT1 to CAT8. So let's see them one by one as we go down the lane. The first one is CAT2. CAT2 is called as Category 2 cable, speed 4 Mbps, frequency 4 MHz. This cable is used for network and telephonic traffic which is no longer used as we have moved to upgraded cables. The next one down the lane is CAT3. CAT3 is called as Category 3 cable, speed 10 Mbps, frequency 16 MHz. This cable was used for voice and data communications and it has been not used nowadays since we have moved for the better cables. The next one down the lane is CAT4. CAT4 is called as Category 4 cable, speed 16 Mbps, frequency 20 MHz. Since both speed and frequency are less, it can pull only the load speed networks and which is not used currently so that we have been moved for the better cable upgrades. The next one is CAT5. The CAT5 is Category 5 cable, speed 100 Mbps, frequency 100 MHz. This cable was used for Ether networks running at 10 or 100 Mbps and the starting stage of speed improvement then we have to move to the upgraded cables for a better speed. The next one down the lane is CAT5E. CAT5E is called as Category 5E cable, speed 100 Mbps, frequency 100 MHz. This is the fast one and is the first gigabyte Ethernet cable with high frequency bandwidth. The next one down the lane is CAT6. CAT6 is called as Category 6 cable, speed 1000 Mbps, frequency 250 MHz. This provides high performance and is it's used in offices to achieve high speed network. The next one is CAT7. CAT7 is called as Category 7 cable, speed 10 Gbps, frequency 600 MHz. This cable is noise resistant and mainly used in industries and medical facilities and it's mainly advantage in increasing security. The next one down the lane is CAT8. CAT8 is called as Category 8 cable, speed 25 Gbps, frequency 2000 MHz. This cable is most shielded one which covers more distance than any other cables and it is highly expensive. This is mainly used for high speed home and data center applications. So thanks for watching this video. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. Stay tuned. We will give us updates.